a PhD, in my opinion, is the perfect opportunity to dig really deep into the topic that you're really interested in. Well, doing a PhD gives one the opportunity to research and study and examine um, a topic and a subject that they're really interested in. And one does that while being funded. So it's much better than having a normal job. Um, that would be one reason why one should do it. But it's also important, I guess, if one wants to do an academic career. Uh, from my uh, personal experiences, I can easily say that doctoral education is an extremely exciting, pleasurable and long journey, despite its full wit contradictions, I would say. Why I thought that it's full wit contradictions? Sometimes you, you may be very stressy. Sometimes you may be very happy. And these two are together. I wouldn't say unfortunately. I wouldn't say despite. I would just say thanks to. Thanks to these opposite feelings, you have very, uh, it is a very pleasurable, very exciting, very motivating process. Uh, unlike many other uh, occupations, uh, science is quite different. Because even you are officially retired person from science, science works, you may continue to do this. You may continue to search, you may continue to read and produce papers, articles, and pre present something in conferences, etc. Nobody can stop you to do this. So this is quite different from all other occupations. There cannot be just one reason. Being smart is not sufficient, but being smart is the key precondition. So if you are smart and you have found a research question that you are really passionate about, and which has not yet found a satisfying answer, then you should go for a PhD. Well, I would say it's the best period of life for you to only con concentrate on one thing. You know, this thing is nothing really practical. It's you think something more about, you know, about the whole world, for the whole human population, for, you know, humankind. And uh, with four years, you can, you don't need to worry about anything. Just focus on this question and what you want to resolve. Especially, I mean, I can only say in my, you know, area like social sciences, uh, you would not, you cannot expect it how much you are enjoyable. Four years, nobody criticizes you, and you are only exploring something like to answer what's your doubts, and uh, there might have some contributions. If you think you are a genius, but none of your previous instructors has confirmed your self-assessment, then better stay away from the PhD. There's definitely a danger that doing a PhD will turn you into an antisocial nerd with only books being your friends. I think I would reconsider uh, doing PhD if I was solely motivated for being famous person or earning good wage or having a prestigious job. Well, it could be interpreted into it's a worst period of time in your life, like with four years, with all these struggles, you know, self-questioning, self-denying, criticizing, thinking what you are doing is worth it or not, looking at the surroundings, looks like everyone's moved out already and you are still there. And uh, yeah, it uh, can be a very depressed process. So, as uh, Johannes Agnoli once said, and I quote, the socialization of knowledge has reached such a high degree that authors, in fact, merely register and revise collectively developed materials, information, and reflections, as well as, as, well as collectively experience the results of practice. So, this basically translates as you should not expect your research to be a groundbreaking moment. You should keep modest goals, but you should at the same time remain passionate about it so that you don't get bored or crazy.